Hello, my name is Sophie and welcome to this week's video. This week I'm going to be doing a kind of what I eat in a day video. I know I've just posted a vlog of what I eat in a week but this is going to be a bit different. So this morning I started off my day with a bowl of Cheerios. I measure out 30 grams of Cheerios I think that's roughly 100 calories but I've not checked for a while and I've just stuck with it. It's the lower end of the recommended portion size for adults so I go with it. And then for lunch, I'm trying out a new cup of soup from Sainsbury's. It's the chicken flavour. Um, and I think that's 89 calories, I think, off the top of my head. So that's what I have for lunch. Uh, usually I have a piece of fruit or something. But today, we were eating lunch a bit later. And to be honest, I completely forgot. So didn't do that. The thing I did want to have a little chat about is dieting and changing your diet as someone who has mental health issues and has previously relied on food as a sort of crutch. In my first year of uni, one of my flatmates described me as the definition of comfort eating, which has stuck with me and somewhat bothered me because I didn't like the idea of being associated so heavily with food. Recently, I've been on a much stricter diet with myself. I've put on a lot of weight since I went to uni and I want to get rid of it. My cousin is getting married in January and why not use a wedding as an incentive to lose weight? So I've really focused and cut down what I'm eating because previously, if I was hungry, I would eat. There would be, wouldn't matter what time of day it was, I would just get something to eat. So I knew I needed to tackle it because it's not just affecting my health, but it's affecting my physical health, but it's just generally helping me take back control of a lot of aspects of my life. So I very strictly have breakfast. I aim to have breakfast before 9 a.m., but generally at the moment I'm waking up about seven in the morning. Uh, and then I have lunch between like 12 and one and I'm just having a cup of soups at the moment. And I'm not, I don't like calling it a diet because the way I was eating before, wasn't healthy. What I'm doing, rather than dieting, is making life changes that will be sustainable for me in the long run and something I can maintain so that I can keep off the weight rather than losing it all in one go now and um, they're putting it all back on again later. I guess the main thing I want to talk about is I don't like using the phrase eating disorders, but I guess that's part of the stigma and I should probably use it to try and break it. But um, I've had issues with food and eating before. When I was in my last years of school, um, I was very, very hyper aware of how much I weighed and every part of my body I didn't like. And there was a point of maybe six to nine months where I wouldn't eat anything before 6 p.m. That was my kind of diet, I guess, if you want to call it that. So cutting down and being more aware of what I'm eating now I'm really, really hyper aware of my relationship with food. The other day I could feel myself scared to eat dinner because I'd weighed myself that morning and I'd put on some weight and I was like, oh, well, I don't want to eat because I know I'm going to put on more weight. It's a fine line and a difficult thing to talk about because everyone gets offended and there's lots of people that you could potentially offend. But I think it's worth talking about because you can preach body positivity all you like. But if someone's not happy with themselves and they could take a healthy approach to changing their body to make it something they like, I don't think that should be frowned upon. Because whenever I've talked about my health journey and cutting down and like trying to exercise more, I always get messages from my friends and I'm sure they're well-intentioned, but they're always saying, oh, you don't need to do that. You don't need to worry about what you look like. You look great. You should be happy with how you are. But I'm not. And... The way I think about myself, it's almost like it's in a glass case and it's not really affected by what other people think about me. I want to lose weight so that I can be happier with myself. I thought I'd pick a day where I don't have as much control to prove that you can make sustainable life changes and still have McDonald's occasionally. Like, I don't know if I'm trying to prove a point or maybe I just picked a bad day. I don't know. Same jump, a different day. I didn't finish the vlog uh, last night when we got back but I just thought I'd quickly explain. Uh, me, my boyfriend, my mum and my uncle went to see Bohemian Rhapsody at the cinema last night and afterwards we went to McDonald's for dinner. Uh, so here's the little clip of McDonald's. I started with a double cheeseburger plain with cheese because I'm a really fussy eater so I just have cheese on the burgers, uh, a medium fries and a medium coke and I was super hungry afterwards. I don't know why but I was starving. 
so um, I got another burger which probably wasn't great to be honest I probably should have resisted it but also it was a weird time to eat it was later than normal I hadn't had masses of cinema snacks I'd taken my own uh, like portion controlled snacks I'd brought my own uh, like mini bag of popcorn and stuff to the cinema trying to be good but also like I said proving a point that um, you can make sustainable life changes and still have McDonald's occasionally hope you enjoyed this video um, I tried to make it a bit different by having the chatty section in the middle and I hope that was alright give it a like if you did like it leave a comment down below and subscribe if you like this kind of content because I like making content that people like watching so yeah if you have any ideas do let me know Thank you for watching, hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!